The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart here. It's a four-hour chart of December wheat. goes over the past uh, several weeks. And as you can see, that 1.618 level there at uh, 578, that was our buy point. Uh, we were risking uh, five cents, $250. And as you can see, uh, that just absolutely failed. Now, this market is incredibly oversold, but... You have to decide how much you're going to risk when you do this. And believe me, I believe in that 1.618 number like just about anything that I look at in these markets And because once you get beyond there, you don't really know what's going to happen. But fortunately, boys and girls, but fortunately, I belong to the law firm of Do We Cheat Him and How. So I wanted to show you what happened to this after this occurred. So just give me one second here. And we'll get over here to screens. Uh huh. And here go live. And hopefully, when we get back here, I'll be able to see this, and you'll be able to see what happened. <laughs> we went. We went from uh, our stop was at 72. Uh, uh, actually, 73. We bought it at 78. Got out at 73. It went to 69 and a half, and is now trading uh, up 500 dollars from our original buy point, but uh, that is neither here nor there because that is what we call a short covering rally, and there's not much you can uh, do about that. That's just a losing trade, and you just you know say, well, next one, move on, and that's what you want to be looking at. So I hope uh, I'm going to double check something here just to be safe to see if everybody could see that. Uh, oh, don't tell me it didn't show. Oh, God help me. I give up. Jeez. <laughs> no matter what I try to do with this thing, Jake, it just doesn't work for the old cowboy. So let me see if I can do it again. I can see the den messages. No, don't call now, Jake, because I'm trying to do this thing. Don't call. Wait, let me just try to do it again. All right, let's go to another one that, that I'd like to cover, okay? This is the one regarding the U.S. dollar. So bear with me one second. I'm going to try to do it the same way that uh that we just did here hold on one second uh why can't i see the share screen thing now oh my god i just i shouldn't be allowed to go out uh by myself i guess that's about pretty much it all right let me try it one more time here i don't see the share screen thing anywhere here i can't find the share screen thing <laughs> well shucks by golly Ah, uh, you're not in the call, Larry. You're not in the call. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Just click Tiger TV. I did that before. What do you mean? I I was in Tiger TV before. Now, oh, there's the screen. So let's try it. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go to screens. Okay, click that, and go live. All right. Now that might be the one I'm looking at. Is I hope that everybody can see the dollar versus the yen. Let me double check here in the den one more time. And you can see the dollar versus the yen chart. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tell me that you can see that you can see the chart and not the den messages. I thought I had all this done. We can see just close Discord. How do I close Discord? If I close Discord, I can't... <laughs> All right, I don't know what to do. Oh, golly. Well, I'll tell you what. Getting push comes to shove. We're at shove right now. And, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, folks. If I didn't care about the O'Briens as much as I do, today would be my last day doing this radio show because I am just at my frustration index has hit 4,592%. That's 1% higher 
than it was when I worked for Eli Lilly on my last day there. Anyway, that was neither here nor there. So let's get back, and I'll try to share another chart here. Let me see, first of all, is, uh, disclose Discord. When you say disclose Discord, what does that mean, Jacob? When you say disclose Discord, does that mean just click on it? Because if I, if I close Discord, I can't see anything in the den. Go back to the chart. Okay, I'm going to go back to the chart. All right, there's. I'm back to the chart now. Now, you mean if I close Discord? Well, let me ask you a question. Sorry, folks. I got to get this straight. Otherwise, I'm toast. I can't do this because I don't have a lot of fundamental information to share with you. I can't share with you information about uh, breakouts or any stuff like that. I'm an ABCD type trader. Works good for me. And that's pretty much it. But let me try one more time here. Uh, whatever is on. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, this is the dollar yen. This is the one that this we're risk 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 on risk off, folks. As long as this thing's going higher, <clears throat> stocks are going to go up most probably. But we are at a real critical level, as you can see here. We've been here for quite a while. The, <clears throat> the back off that we had yesterday, you see, we wow, just a minute. We just went down to the 61% retracement, and it's just really done nothing but go back up again. So it's really not, and not only that, but the euro, the pound, the Canadian. And the uh, Australian dollar all have moved lower. So that means that the dollar is still weak. And I let's try it again. Like, the dollar is still strong. So we're going to be flirting with that 105 level already today. And if we get above 105, we can be looking at 107, 108. And boy, that takes you up to a, a whole level ball game around 105 in the euro. So we really want to watch that. But the euro could turn at any time because we've been up 10 weeks. That's the key when you're watching this thing is it it's 10 weeks and you've got to pay attention to it. So that's what I'm watching as I overlook, as I watch some of these things that we have going today. Now, our guest at the break, <clears throat> our guest at the break is going to be Mike Moore of More Analytics. Tomorrow, we'll have Jeff Huge. On Thursday, we're going to have Grace Morris of Astro Economics. And then also on Friday, we'll have Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. Those are my scheduled guests uh, for this week. All right, now let's move on here to, I've got to check a couple of quick things to see how the markets are holding up here because we've got some things that are very, very interesting right here. And I'm going to bring one of them up to you right now. It may or may not mean anything, but it may or may mean something. So here's what we're going to show you, folks. This is the, uh, hold on now, we're just going to get this up on the old share screen. Okay, and we're going to hit screen, share screen. Yep, and hit that. And then go live. And let's just pray to God that we see the old crude oil contract. Now, I'm going to check with Jacob to see if we see the crude oil contract. So bear with me here one second. Do we see the crude oil contract? Uh, well, I, I have to be able to see that I'm seeing it, though. You see, that's it. Now, I'm going to reshare it. Okay. I hope, I hope this is good. Can you see the chart now? The answer to that question will be shown here on one second. And, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back to talk about crude oil, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I better bring up the last six months of the crude oil uh, contract. And as you can see here, back here on the 21st of August, we made a 382 retracement. Uh, we had Mike Moore on that day and he was quite friendly to the crude oil market. Now, what I've done is I, I don't know the fundamentals behind this stuff, but I do look at the charts and this uh, ABCD pattern that you can see here up here at uh, roughly 90, uh, excuse me, 89, is uh, basically the same pattern that I look at when I watch for the, the RBOB, the gasoline, and then also when I look at the heating oil. All of those patterns have been complete. Now, if you notice here, for the last five days, we've been setting at 88. We've hit it four times. And then today, mysteriously, I mean, this is, you talk about major mysteries, the Saudi government realized that there was another 3 million barrels shortfall that they ran into when they start doing their calculations. My only question is, why didn't the guy make it a 6 million barrel or 12 million barrel? I mean, it doesn't seem strange. It's just 3 million. If I was his accountant, I'd say I think it would be a 12 million barrel shortfall. But anyway, that pushed the market up another buck 80 today. And here we're banging up against these uh, major numbers, whether they mean much today or not. I'm not uh, sure, but, you know, I'm watching those closely because should the market reverse from that, it's going to be a pretty good, pretty good trade uh, to the downside. Now, let's talk just a little bit here about the gold market. I, now here's where I hope um, I'm going to do something crazy now. I'm just going to check with Jake to make sure that everybody can see that chart that I'm looking at. Can everybody see that uh, gold chart? Say yes. Please tell me you can see it. I'm just going to assume that I everybody can see it. So I just want to get it up here. So there it is. 
Now, this is an hourly chart, and as you can see, this number up here, that 1955, it got to 1954.50, that was a 382, hit it three days in a row, and then last night, in the middle of the night, as you can see here, uh, it went right up to the 382 retracement, hit it for one quick tick, and then dropped from 1947 uh, $1,700 all the way down to 1930 but you can see the other 382 retracements that were in here. Now, this was an hourly chart, so these were, you know, this took quite a while for those, if you're watching an eight-minute chart, you know, it would take eight bars, you know, to finish that. So those are the kind of things that I was looking at. The problem is that we were having another storm. We had another one. We've got what's still raining here today. So we're having a little bit of rain. This is the last of the... Uh, the monsoon season, it ends on Friday, which is also Rosh Hashanah and uh, start of the high holy days. And uh, so anyway, those are the things that I'm watching intraday to see when these markets turn to give me an entry point to where I don't have to risk too much at all. Because that's the secret to this. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. I try to lose as little as possible. But again, you know, you don't always get that chance. I wanted to bring one other chart uh, to your uh, uh that, that this I want to get this Japanese yen here one more time because this is really important, folks. If we clear this level up in here, uh, 148, the old high was 150. That means we're going to be looking at something, uh, an ABCD, and it's going to take this thing up to 153 or something, which it hasn't been at that level for many, many years. This would mean, uh, I would think, there would be pretty much – wild speculation uh, coming back into the markets and of course as we saw with the uh, Morgan Stanley yesterday coming out with a price objective of 440 on their analysis in uh, the Morgan Stanley uh, view of Tesla now, I'm sure Morgan Stanley didn't put any positions on that the day before they issued the report I don't think that would be kosher but maybe they did maybe they didn't but it did have a 12% uh, a, I think it was a 12% or a 20 yeah it had a 12% move in one day or 15% it's still down 20% on the year but it's still on the way up it's pretty hard to fade uh, somebody that's as successful as Elon Musk is folks the guy's got an IQ up into the stratosphere the only thing I question is is his uh, breeding uh, he has 11 children and I guess he has a wish to have his progeny uh, moving on uh, quite a bit. Unfortunately, we didn't have that with uh, either Nicholas, Tes Nicholas Tesla or Leonardo da Vinci. And so anyway, those, those are things that we don't, don't have to worry about on this show. Okay, now have one of the questions that someone is asking me is, do I think the stock market is still in a bullish mode? You have to assume that it still is, folks, because it's still going up from the low that we made on September the 3rd at 44.35 in the June September S&P that was an exact 61% retracement from that level we rallied 60 handles on Monday okay that took us up to 95 we came dropped 30 handles back today down to about 65 and now we're bouncing between those numbers now that that's all what we go below 44.35 that's a game changer that's going to be a lot different but that's a long way from where we are right now. So you can't really say that the market is bearish. Now, when these reports come out each night, sometimes they're bullish, sometimes they're bearish, and they will affect the markets for a short period of time. But when you see something as dramatic as what happened with uh, uh, taking a stock as, you know, as ha uh, so many people uh, have Tesla, and they say it's at 220, and then all of a sudden, you know, and remember 220 at 219, folks, was a 382 it hit it twice in the same week at 219 and then it opens at uh, some ungodly number I don't remember what it was but it was up quite a bit and now th that doesn't mean it's going to go to 440 in the next couple of weeks I think that there I don't know anything about the report but my guess is it was probably a long-term report that they're looking something probably several years down the road maybe as long as 18 months uh, who knows I mean these markets move very look what they did in Nvidia folks it was 150 and it went from 150 to 580 you know same thing almost with uh, Eli Lilly so when these markets come they come pretty very they come very very quickly now, I wanted to share uh, regarding that wheat trade that we did I want to bring this up from our friend Jeff over in New Jersey he was looking at some lower prices down in here you can see I I was looking for my price to come in right about there. Uh, it didn't and it didn't work. But you know that's neither here nor there. But uh, the these are 
he has several other lower projections than I did. And the only the only reason that I was doing it differently is I was just taking the last um, part of the market between August the 29th and where we are today. And I expanded that to see what the 1.618 expansion was. Because you can see the last time we had that happen, the market rallied 20, 26 cents. That's a $1,400 profit if you'd have taken all of it. And you know, we don't expect to take all of it, but that's what happens. Now, the fact that it went down to where it did today and then rallied to 85 gives me a heads up. And we got our grain report uh, coming in here uh, on Friday, I believe. Yes, it's a grain report. And uh, pretty much the crop has been made, folks. The only thing that will be different is if we run into some really uh, what we call uh, super cold weather, uh, freezing type weather, then it's a little different. So that that's what we're watching here in the grain markets so that's pretty much it. We're going to have a Mike Moore of More Analytics will be our guest here when we come back. And so let's stay, uh, stay tuned and we'll have some more information. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And we'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, Bo, I believe we have Mike Moore on the line now. Uh, hopefully he'll be with us for a second. Uh, uh, maybe he's going to be busy today. I'm not sure, but we're going to try. No Michael yet, so we're going to keep doing some charts here, so bear with me here. Uh, got the market moving really strong again. We got that E-mini S&P uh, moving up quite a bit from that level we were looking at just a little while ago up there at 45, uh, 30. Uh, the low today was a 45, uh, 14, perfect ABCD down there. Those of you that like AB, you know, since we're doing that, let's just bring this up to let the boys and girls see what we were watching here. So we'll get this up here so we'll be able to see the old ABCD uh, in. Oh, you know what? I think I can just do this all at one time. This is just an old eight minute chart. So let's just get this up here to show where we're looking at it right here. And then you'll see where the bottom was there. Hold on. We're going to try to do something a little differently. This might work out OK and make my life. Uh, we're going to put on screens. OK, screen one, go live. And let's see if we can see my chart of the E-mini S&P uh, trading at uh, 45.37. That's up from the ABCD, as you can see, at 45.20, uh, uh, whatever it was, uh, 45.14. Let me double check to see if that uh, this can be seen. Uh, is it, can, can you see the chart in there? Anybody help me with that? A broadsword to Danny Boy, broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. See what's going on here with that. And uh, uh, did anybody see the picture of the chart? That will get, uh, we were seeing the chart. Okay, so let's get back here. And But not now, but you will now again. Hopefully you'll see it now. There it is. There's where we are. Okay, we had this really nice run here. Now, if you wanted to be, you know, really be a kicks and giggles here. I mean, this is just a really short term chart here, but you can see the smaller ABCD that we've got going right now. And there it is right there. We should be topping right about now with this. So we're going to see this is a this is a double ABCD. As you can see, we got an ABCD to the downside, an ABCD to the upside. So that's what we're looking at as we try to uh, decipher what we're looking at when we're watching some of these things here today. I hope that makes a lot of sense to you. Let's double check to see if we have uh, Mike Moore coming on. If not, we'll have to do uh, okay. All right. Um, whenever you say not now, I know what that means. Okay, let me get another one. And since we're doing something, we're going to do um, okay. Uh, Mike has a problem today, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's take a quick here. A quick bird's eye view here of the euro, folks. We're gonna we're gonna just show you where we are here. Now I'm gonna do an hourly chart on the euro because you're gonna see more of it, and you can see how bearish it's been for such a very very long time. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to put this in here, and that's not what I wanted to see because it doesn't show the swings that I think that are necessary. So okay, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in. I'm going to do this together so we can do it together, boys and girls, because this is what I do when I'm doing the uh, the live trading thing. So we'll come up here, and we're going to come over here to the screen and change the windows, and we're going to go to screens. I think this is what I want, screen one. And there it is. Now let's hope we got the euro here. All right, now there's the euro, folks. Now look, we've been down here. Since September the 7th, and here we are a whole week later, you see we've had virtually no rally in this. You see this? This is telling us this is not ready to go up yet. It's getting close possibly. But look at this. This does not have any bounce at all. I mean, even back here, when we made this little 382 retracement right here, that was a bounce. But, you know, this one hasn't bounced like that. I mean, it's just telling you that, you know, no matter what's here, it's still heading lower. So we want to use that as our fulcrum point because that was the last major rally. If you come down and look at it, where did we hit the last three days? Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Now, if we get above here, if we get above that 107.65, that's what we call something has changed. Your trend is going to change because there's your 382 off of the last big high that you had here. That would also mean that you would be looking at this from an A, B, C, D. There's your A leg right there. There's your B leg, C leg, D leg. And then, boom, you would be going all the way up to, to this level right here. Now, why would this be important? 
Well, you've got to do your same thing. You go back, take your next high that was back here. You want to do, do it both ways. You want to go back and look, and you see that's going to take you where? To the 382 of the whole move, okay? Now, that's why that is important. That's how you – and, folks, this is the most actively traded thing in the world. I mean, it's major, major, okay? And then we also want to see what it would be from the previous high back here. And as you can see, that will bring you in exactly at 50%. So you have two things right there, 50% retracement of this move and 382 of that move. Above here, off to the races. Then the dollar is in trouble and gold's going to continue uh, probably maybe get some type of a bounce in here because, you know, it's all got all the way down to uh, 19 um, – 1929, I believe. Ooh, boy, that's a terrible thing to remember. 1929. So that's uh, another one why we're paying so close attention. If you have any questions, folks, uh, you know, please let me know. It's 877-927-6648. But as Al just uh, let me know, it is impossible to get through, folks. The lines are just jam-packed. I mean, it's just uh, – I think we're going to have to put in extra lines, but, you know, as many as we have now, you'd think someone would be able to get through, but unfortunately, that's not happening. So let's move on. I know when, I, I know when I'm looking at it right now, uh, we are not seeing the chart, but I'm just trying to prepare. A phone line just opened up, Al said, so if you do call, it's 877-927-6648, and for heaven's sake, too late. Someone's trying to get through. All right, let's get get on here. We've got another, how much? we got another minute and a half here to uh, clear, and then we'll move on to another one. Since we're doing that uh, with that, and we'll be able to spend some time here uh, with the gold market. Well, see, this is this has actually held it so far uh, in the S&P. Not yet, but just a little bit. But let's take a look at that gold market, and just for kicks and giggles, because this is one of our favorite things to trade. And if you stay up all night, you definitely want to watch this one because this thing has some big moves. Uh, uh, since I, I know you can see my charts now, I'm just going to clean everything out so you'll see where we are. This is the one that was really that we really wanted right there, folks. This was the one uh, at 55. You can see here we got 5450, uh, 195450, 195480, and then there was your first 382 retracement, a second one, and then a third one, and we're setting pretty close. I believe, where we might be getting close to the 78% level. Yes, we are. You see, within a buck or two of that. So we're going to pay close attention. But frankly, folks, if the dollar continues strengthening, and that's what this usually means, because so you can see the large ABCD here, right here, from this one here, went all the way up, went actually went quite a bit higher than that. This extension, this BC swing, you can see there's another one here, A, B, C, D. This extends by 1.27 to get you up to that level. And you can see that because all you have to do is measure from your last high to your low and bada bing, bada boom, and look, there's your 127. Mathematics in action, boys and girls. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the chart that we were looking at, which is the eight-minute chart on the E-mini S&P. We had that uh, ABCD pattern on the upside. We had an ABCD pattern on the downside. And all we were looking at, now we're having a correction. Uh, now, what we should look for, because the market has been relatively strong, it should retrace at least to the 382 retracement. And that would bring us down here to uh, 4529. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my limit minder on here to see if it's going to hit uh, 49. A 45.29 to see if it's going to do that. Now, the fact that it's coming down quite quickly, we see we've dropped eight points very quickly. It gives you high probability we're going to go lower than that. So that's what we want to be watching and see what it does. But first, it's got to get to 45.29. We're trading it. Well, we're almost there, 45.30 right now. So when we get to that point, we're going to be watching it really, really closely. Now, if you sold that ABCD pattern up there, Okay, your risk would be about five points. You've already made eight. So what you would do is you would lock in at least five points on this. So you'd put your buy stop at uh, 45.35, and that would lock in, you know, several hundred dollars. So that's if you're trading short term, that's what I'd be looking. But pretty soon you're going to hear a little beep, and that's going to tell us that we're over. Oh, we're just one tick away from that 382, and then we're going to find out whether it's going to have a a larger move uh, or not. The, the Someone's asked the question, why do I figure the 3A2? Well, first of all, it's the first ratio that pops up in the Fibonacci sequence of 3A2, 5, 0, 6, 1, 8, 7, 8, 6. And it's also the last time you can see here, the last time we pulled off, this was a 3A2 retracement back here at 45.22. So those are the ones that uh, there we just uh, just hit the 382 just now at uh, 45 uh, 29. So um, that's uh, now it's getting below it. That's what we want to see. If you want to continue to go to the downside, I would be watching it right in here. Now, the fact that we've come down 10 points in a matter of 16 minutes, not even 16 minutes, about 12 minutes tells you that most probably we're going to work a little bit lower. So what do you want to do is we want to calculate what would be the next spot that it would hold? Well, it's right there at the 50% level at 45.26. Now, we haven't been much below 45.29. We've only been to uh, 45.28.50. So uh, this is going to easily turn from this level right here. So this is when you're short-term trading. This is what you have to do is to 
define what your risk is going to be on this. But you can see that ABCD pattern up there. It was complete. If we did a, a quick uh, a, a prever, a perusal of this, these are eight-minute bars. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bars in that move. And from your low here, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, nine bars in the up move. So it's just perfect ABCD uh, in action right from the works of H.M. Gartley and uh, also Benoit Mandelbrot. So that's what I'd be doing. Now, have, had I been in this trade, which I was, I would be out of the trade now waiting to see what the next thing is going to bring us because it got down to the point that I was looking for. And, uh, you know, I sold it at 28, uh, 45, 28. I got out at 29 and made 450 bucks in a period of 16 minutes. And that's almost like being a plastic surgeon in Miami Beach. So anyway, those are a few things that we're looking at. Hopefully we're going to have Mike Moore uh, on later on this week. If not, we'll get him on next week for sure. Tomorrow's Jeff Huge. Uh, Grace Morris will be back from Europe uh, on Thursday. She promised me. She was going to come back five days early just to be on the show. And then, of course, Jim Bartolioni will be our guest on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. And, of course, there's a cycle in the stock market where you buy on Rosh Hashanah and you sell on Yom Kippur. And it is a lunar cycle, folks. It is a lunar cycle. So that's why you want to be paying close attention to that because uh, it is a lunar cycle. Now, we're moving a little bit lower now, 45.28. Uh, and, you know, maybe that's going to be the high of this run here and the market's going to back off. I don't know. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. But we've had two bars down now, two eight-minute bars. The next one should hold at the 50%. And it might not. It might go to 61. And I don't know where it's going to go, but nobody else does either. So I'm just trying to read it, just like a cartographer is reading a, a map trying to get across the Atlantic, much like uh, my good friend and first cousin Christopher Columbus did back when he uh, brought the pilgrims over. No, that wasn't the pilgrims. That was the, the, the three boats from Spain. Uh, okay, um, I know what that means, folks. I'm just trying to make up a little bit of time here to see if we have any uh, other things going on. Uh, someone asked a question about, about the wheat, if I would check. I've actually taken wheat off my thing, but I can bring it up here just one second here. We'll take a quick look to see what the wheat has been doing here since it had that nice little run here. Let's put the eight minute up here. And I believe, oh, it's had a heck of a run. It's wow, went all the way up to 91. Are you kidding me? Boy, I'm going to have to get to the firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe on this one. Look at this, folks. This my boy. My buy order was right here. My stop was right there, and uh, that would have been uh, that. That would have been a nice one. But let's see where it's going to stop. Okay, go back to the last highs we made way back here. All right. Now this should be. Now I can tell you right now it's 50%. It's a little more than 382, I believe. But there was your high back on September the 6th, and there you come in right there. Uh, well, your 382 came in here at 87. We didn't quite make the 50% level. So uh, what I'll be watching now is to see what the pullback will do here because this is probably a pretty good bottom now in the wheat. And uh, But I have to get a nice little ABCD to uh, tell me that that's what I, I want to do uh, as far as, uh, you know, to, to be, be a buyer or seller at that point because I need I need two things I need either expansion contraction or really a B C D nice pattern that's what I'm uh, looking forward to as we uh, out look outline this so let's get back to the old stop and pee and oh we're still coming down as you can see here we're almost down to the 61 percent retracement now I am not upset the fact that I got out here when I could have made an extra three cents because at this point you see I was home free and I made my quota, which I was eight points is what I was trying to make. I made eight and a half, which was good. Stop and think. I was only risking four, so it's two to one. And you don't get two to one very often. You certainly don't get that uh, in baseball, basketball, or any place else. You don't get it in Las Vegas. So that's why uh, trading is a lot of fun. But, you know, it's also uh, has fraught with danger because if you get in here and don't know what you're doing, you can run into a whole lot of problems and that's not a uh, that's not a fun thing to go into. Okay, let's just remind ourselves of that. All right. Okay. Hope that helps here. We almost made the 61 there. We got down to uh, 24.75. The number was 23. Uh, well, basically 24. So this might be the bottom right here. 
uh, at 424. But again, it's still early. You know, it's uh, we got another guest coming in here uh, tomorrow. You know, of course, we'll be out here by tomorrow. Let's see uh, what else we have to see if we've got anything coming into the den. Uh, oh, Al said a line just opened up. Shut the front door and raise the rent. See if we can get this back up again and everybody can see it okay. Now, I am going to ask Al in the den if everything that I'm showing you is live or is it Memorex. So, Al, tell me, uh, I know it's not showing now, but it was before. Everything was good, right? It was moving okay? Because that makes my job a whole lot easier and it looks like I have another 17 years going ahead. So, let's take a break here. 877-927-6648 and we'll wrap it up. Billy If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, I'm going to put up the chart that I think is the most important of the charts that we've watched here today, and that is the uh, chart of the dollar index. And you'll see here... Uh, the fact that we're up at this level right here, folks, the good part is we're up 10 weeks, okay? Let's try it again, Larry. Eight weeks. That usually means, you can see eight weeks here, big correction. 
we could get a big correction anytime. So that's why I'm watching it very closely. Uh, that it gets above that 105.30 level, it's going to really take off. But right now it hasn't done that. But I'm watching the euro. I've already went through what I'm watching for in the euro. So that's not a you know hard one to understand. But that's what I'm trying to do is I look at the dollar index, and I know that that is uh, 53, 56% of it is going to be in the euro. So that's the main play. The second one will be the British pound. Third one will be Canadian, or third one will be, excuse me, Japanese yen, then the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar. So I'll be watching those to see if they come into areas where we might find a very, very low risk entry. Right now we have one in the euro, but I'm not sure that it's going to hold or not, but it was very, very low risk down there at that 107.20 level. Now remember, we've been to a little bit below 106 just a few days ago, but we haven't taken that out yet. So that's telling you that it is searching for a bottom, just like in the bonds, folks. I mean, look at the bonds. Folks, we had that 382 just a few days ago up there at 120.05, uh, and we've been below 119 several times since that. But for the first time today, we rallied back half to that distance at 119.19, which was the first sign that, yes, maybe the bond market is trying to get a few friends. And I, when I say a few friends, folks, I mean that sincerely because there's not many of them out there. It's uh, certainly going to be a really rough road. Now, tomorrow, uh, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights as our guest. And as I mentioned, on Thursday, Grace Morris. And on Friday, we're going to have none other than our good friend, Jim Bartolone. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. Mm -hmm.